Kamala Harris was on Howard Stern this week, and as you can imagine, in typical Howard Stern fashion, he asked her things like how big her breasts are. And what is your chest size? Obviously, you've had those things inflated beyond comprehension. He asked her if she was shaved or unshaved down below. I love it shaved. I don't, I don't want you unshaved. And he asked her if she sleeps in the nude. What are you sleeping in these days? Are you naked when you're asleep? And if she has any good tips on how to give a good BJ. You say you give great blowjobs. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> Wrong Howard Stern. No, no. 2024 Howard Stern is different than the Howard Stern you and I remember back in the good old days. Howard Stern is a mere shell of himself. So instead of asking Kamala to ride the Sibian, they discussed things like her husband, Doug, winning employee of the month at McDonald's. We have a picture of him when he was employee of the month at McDonald's. They discussed important issues like what Kamala eats for breakfast. Why are you eating for breakfast raisin bran, I read? I feel <laughs> there's a lot of sugar. So I don't eat raisin bran every morning. But okay. if you asked me what was my favorite cereal, I would put it right up there with, okay, and then this is going to be obnoxious and Special K. <laughs> special K is... <laughs> well, it's really great. Plus, my mother used to make these Special K cookies. Who the hell cares? And even more important issues like going to U2 concerts in Las Vegas. You're going out to see U2 at the Sphere. Was that yes. any good, by the way? Oh, my God. Have you been to the Sphere? I, I'm, I'm troubled by it. I, I don't, I, well, let me just say, basically, um, everyone should go in with a, a, a clear head. <laughs> Isn't it too much? But that's why I'm saying that. Yeah. <laughs> like, definitely go in. You mean and don't be high? Correct. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like it, because we, it's a lot. Like, there's a lot of visual stimulation. Yeah. And then I love you, too. It, actually, it was, a, it was a surprise for Doug. Who the hell cares? The first thing about this interview that caught my ear was when Howard Stern said this. Yes, I'm voting for you, but I would also vote for that wall over there <laughs> rather than a guy who says he doesn't support Ukraine. If that isn't a backhanded compliment, I don't know what is. But Howard is so old and out of it that I don't think he even realized what he said. Ladies, imagine if a guy told you, I would love to bang you. But I'd also screw that wall over there. Yeah, I don't think most ladies would be okay with that. But Kamala just laughs it off, not even realizing that she was just low-key dissed. Yes, I'm voting for you, but I would also vote for that wall over there. <laughs> Kamala did several interviews this week. Stephen Colbert, 60 Minutes. She even went on The View and, of course, Howard Stern. And after all of these so-called interviews she did this week, I haven't learned one new thing about her policies and how she intends to help Americans get back on their feet again. And why is no one giving her hard questions? Aside from that 60 Minutes interview, which I truly appreciated, why is no one giving her pushback on her so-called answers. That's because they don't want to expose how weak she is. And shame on Howard Stern. I grew up listening to Howard Stern. Howard Stern at one time was the greatest radio personality in the country. He was revolutionary. He was groundbreaking. But now... He's no different than all of the radio hosts he used to make fun of back in the day. 20 years ago, Howard Stern would have never sat down with someone like Kamala Harris. Howard Stern used to be pro-free speech. Kamala is not. 
Howard used to be against censorship. Kamala is not. This interview was so cringy, I could barely make it through the entire hour. But I watched it, so you don't have to. Honestly, you didn't miss anything. It was another softball interview, and it did nothing, in my opinion, to showcase Kamala's policies, which is something a lot of Americans are still confused on. She flip-flops so much, a lot of us have no idea where or what she stands on today. And we're 20-something days away from the election. Yeah, I keep looking for a reason to vote for Kamala Harris, but she keeps giving me reasons not to vote for her. So as of now, I'm still voting for the orange guy. I know his policies. I know what he stands on. And unlike our so-called first black vice president of the United States, I still, after 80 days of her being on the campaign trail, I still have no idea what she will do to make our country better. And for Howard Stern, if Howard Stern would have quit radio 20 years ago, he would have gone down in history as one of the greatest, probably the greatest. Now, he's just a laughing stock. A laughing stock who still makes $100 million a year. So I guess at the end of the day, he's laughing all, to, all the way to the bank, huh? But comment down below. Have you watched the Howard Stern interview with Kamala Harris? If you haven't, you aren't missing anything. But if you did, I would love your comments down below. And also, please hit that like button if you haven't already. Please go on and smash it for your boy. Just smash it one time. I truly appreciate it. And if this is your first time joining the channel and you are entertained by what you are listening to, please hit that subscribe button. Notice I said entertained. I didn't say if you liked it. Because a lot of you listen, even though you dislike some of my content, which I still am trying to figure out this new generation of people who listen and watch content that upsets them so they can go in the comments and just be all rah, 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 yeah, rah, rah, Kamala 2024 vote blue I'm still trying to figure you guys out but if you're entertained if you're entertained either way whether you liked it or hated it hit that subscribe button there's definitely more to come especially since we only have like 20 something days left to this probably most important election of our lifetime I'm also on rumble on the rumble app Download Rumble onto your phone. That's R-U-M-B-L-E, Rumble. And subscribe to Dusty Vision TV. All one word, Dusty Vision TV. I also have a second channel here on YouTube. It's called Dusty Vision Radio, and I post completely different content on that channel than I do right here on my main channel. And I'm really just trying to build that channel up. So please, subscribe to my second channel right here on YouTube, Dusty Vision Radio. I'm also on Instagram, and I'm also on Facebook, Dusty Vision TV. Please follow your boy, and stay tuned for more content. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Talk to you soon. Peace.